What is up, my mammoth militia? This is Lil Wooly618, and I fly a line. I recently did a video about the foregrip attachment. Well, he only went through three guns, and I didn't think it was thorough enough, so I decided to test out the rest of the SMGs that he did not look into. Now, he looked into the Scorpion Evo, I looked through the rest of them, and here are my thoughts. First, here we have the MP7 without the uh, foregrip attachment on it. There's no other attachments on this. Um, this one's just a plain MP7, no attachments, whatever. And as you can see, the bullet spread is, it's all over the place. It's going up, it's moving a lot towards the right. The If you're holding the trigger down throughout the entire thing, it's going to go everywhere. Now here's the MP7 with the foregrip on it. And as you can see, it's not moving to the side as much. Um, but the vertical recoil on it is you know still about as bad now if you're if you're having problems with the recoil the side to side recoil then the foregrip is probably the way to go on the mp7 but if not i wouldn't recommend it now here we have the pdw um as you can see the bullets are flying everywhere well not everywhere but like they're pretty much going straight up and you know, it's if you're going if you're aiming at the guy's chest, you're probably going to miss a few of them. Now, here we go. Put the tack insert down. <laughs> now, here's the PDW with the grip on it, and the vertical recoil on this. I mean, the side to side recoil wasn't much different. The vertical recoil, I think, just may have been slightly worse. But the first few shots were okay. They were a little bit better, but as you progressed and got through the entire clip, the uh, foregrip, I mean, didn't really help much. So, the PDW, I would say no. Now, the vector. Watch how far this goes up. This cl thing climbed up with the recoil so much, I was surprised by it while I was recording this. The vector has very little side-to-side -side recoil, but the vertical recoil is just horrific. Absolutely horrific. Now, we put the grip on it now, and let's see how this works, how this does. That first burst looked pretty good. Now, let's progress on. The vertical recoil seems to be controlled. It seems to be a little bit better. The side to side recoil is about the same. So, as far as the vector goes, um, if you are having problems going above your target while holding the trigger down, I would definitely say take, put the grip on there. The MSMC, my favorite gun. Um, this without the grip, um, this thing likes to spray a lot. Uh, <laughs> it's the side to side recoil is you know pretty horrific. Well, horrific might be strong, but it's not that great. It'll go left and right a little bit. If you put the grip on there. Now, see, I think the grip on the MSMC actually makes it worse. It seems to be that it's still going all over the place. And it might actually be going all over the place a little bit more. I don't know if this is like a programming mistake by Treyarch, but the MSMC foregrip did not look that great. Now we have the Chicom, or however the hell you say it. Um, now, people like to use the select fire, so that way they have the option of full auto. So what I did is I took the gun without the grip first, and this first round here you see is burst fire, and the next clip you're about to see is the full auto. And as you can see with the burst fire, the burst fire is doing its job. It's keeping the bullets pretty much on target. And, you know, it'd be really tough to even, you know, do any better with that. Now, here's the full auto. As you can see, you when you hold the trigger down, this thing just runs up the uh, target. It, it doesn't go as far up as, like, the Fector did. But, I mean, it if you put a few more bullets in it, it probably would. Now, here's the, let's see, we got the uh, burst fire with the grip on it, and uh, there wasn't really much difference between the burst fire with and without the grip. Um, to be honest, if you guys are just going to use it for burst fire, foregrip on this gun is not going to work, or it's not going to be worth it. It's not going to be worth that one point, that one attachment that you could use. 
Now, what about the full auto with the grip? Now, the vertical recoil with the full auto on this seems to be a little bit better. The vertical recoil does. It's got a little bit more side-to-side -side recoil, I think, though, which kind of defeats the purpose. So, as far as that goes, uh, not really sure if you guys really want to put the foregrip attachment on the uh, Chukum. But, as far as my word on the foregrip on the SMGs, not really worth it. Um, use that point for something else. Get full metal jacket or get the laser sight or something else. But anyway, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you got any other tips and tricks you want me to go through. And, uh, no, likes, favorites, and shares on Facebook and Twitter really help me out. It'd be greatly appreciated. But my name is Lil Willie 618 and I'll see you guys next time.